I'm a veterinarian, but seven years ago when I was finishing up vet school, I realized that when I was trying to learn how to use a stethoscope, I couldn't actually hear much because in any given you know room in a veterinary hospital, you have about 30 patients. And when you have a dog making a huge ruckus on one side of the room and a cat making a ruckus on the other side of the room, you can't really hear much. And that's when I realized I had to do something else. I just cut the end of my stethoscope, put a microphone in, plugged it into a laptop, and then started watching what happened. And that's how Tal was born. This is Tal Digital Stethoscope. Tal is beat in Sanskrit. With a regular stethoscope, you can actually get any data out of it. The possibilities are limitless when you think about what happens when you take sound and make it digital. I realized we need to create something that actually helps doctors and you know nurses, paramedics, veterinarians to really get a clear idea of what's going on. Can I filter out all the noise? Can I increase the volume, decrease the volume? Can I put it on an app? Can I see it as a graph? Can I refer it to another doctor or to another practitioner? When he was recording at the studio, we were talking about how we can use these sounds to sort of shazam them, like how you would shazam songs, uh, to find out defective heart conditions. And we realized from, you know, uh, from the universities that we went to that all of these teaching faculty are desperate for something that allows them to communicate what they're hearing to the whole classroom. Just the idea of using sound to teach people where the classes of 60 people can't really pass this uh, conventional stethoscope to everyone else, like individually. They can then say, here's a graph of that condition, and you can keep listening to that and get yourself familiarized with it. Whereas what happens today is the only other things we can do that with is an x-ray, you know, or something that's physical, like an EKG readout. In relation to education, that kind of library then becomes sort of a benchmark. We made it really intuitive. It has three buttons on it. It has a power button. It allows you to cycle through modes, allows you to listen to heart sounds, lung sounds, bowel sounds, and we have a minus and plus button to increase and decrease the volume. And it can really improve the fidelity of what I'm listening to. We're trying to keep the functionality on the device as minimal as possible because it has to be intuitive, it has to be fast. So that means no boot times, no loading times, and it's as simple as a regular stethoscope. So what you're looking to do is literally just plug in your earphones, and then the same kind of stethoscope chamber that you get with any stethoscope is then placed directly over the heart. We're Muse Diagnostics, and we're the builders of Thal Digital Stethoscope, a device this small that's going to replace this 150-year-old device. What is distinct about iShow is that most people here are experts in specific areas, so they can give us deep insight, like specifically. No, it wasn't just that you should follow regulations. It wasn't just as simple as yeah, that. Yeah, it was just this number yeah. dot, that number dot, dash, whatever, <laughs> and you need to read this and make yeah. sure you know that. And, and that, that's something we really appreciate because that, that takes a lot of time. Most of the technical as well as business due diligence comes uh, from iShow, which is like really Good. The technical due diligence was really granular. The people who were reviewing us were so well curated that they understood down to the, you know, the single components that we were using, the materials we used, the industry we were in. So very simple, user-friendly, exactly. in terms of exactly, yeah. almost no buttons, but it's, all, it's meant to be very intuitive. It's absolutely a, a new paradigm for an old diagnostic tool. You know, it's, we're, we're, we're not reinventing the wheel, we have a better wheel. I really see this as completely upending medicine entirely. I mean, the stethoscope is the foundation of medicine, and we just revolutionized the stethoscope. 